You're watching Impulse on the Freedom Network. And now here's Anthony. Thank you, I appreciate you and I appreciate our audience. Today I wanted to talk to you about this. This is the Razer um, Kraken USB. A lot of people actually requested that I do this one. It does present a little bit of an issue um, in that the cord is green. In fact, it's green screen green. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna tuck it behind me while I talk about this particular unit. The unit itself is fairly well constructed. It's a little bit noisy, as you might be able to hear when you move it around. However, it's not a deal breaker as with other headsets that we've talked about and seen. The microphone is actually really cool. It does bend, as you can see here. Very nice bending action. Now, it is all black in construction other than the cord, which is green. Uh, I am doing my best to conceal the green cord for that reason. As far as the plastic that it's made out of, it's actually really good in its construction. I do have worries though that over a long period of use that it may actually cause issues, but only a very extended playtest can tell that. I've used this for about 10 hours or so, and I find that this headset is okay. I don't like it as much as I like the other Razer Kraken, um, as far as sound quality and audio reproduction. However, as far as a general use headset for gaming and things like that, I do, I do like it. Um, probably if I had to give it a number between 1 and 10, I'd give it about a 5. But, you know, that's just my personal take on it. As far as the ear cups, they are, they, they do have hinges on them. Now, the hinges do not go for the entire uh, the, the entire ear cup, they're actually hinged on the inside of the ear cup that you see here. Um, this is great because it means that your hair, if you have slightly longer hair, isn't going to get caught up in the ear cup as easily. Great for girl gamers or just guys who don't want to get a haircut. The flexible mic is okay. As far as headset mics go, I would probably give it about a 7. As far as regular mics go, it's definitely not nearly as good as my Blue Yeti or any condenser mics, of course that's to be expected. Um, I, I found that this headset was not necessarily the most comfortable thing I've ever seen, or the least comfortable thing, so as far as that goes, it probably also gets about another 5 out of 10. It's a great contender if you need a USB um, headset, and if microphone quality is not necessarily something you want to focus on. For instance, some of you who already have a headset, that you, you or a microphone rather, that you use for your recordings, Maybe this is just a great little thing for Skype, but maybe not the best for your recordings. The headset does win some points because it's not flashy, it's not showy, it doesn't have a lot of green or other colored lights on it. So if you're looking for something utilitarian, again, this is for you. However, if you're a gamer and you're all about the flash, probably not for you because this is designed in a way where it's, it's black, it's very... it's utilitarian. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comments section down below. Till next time, I'm Anthony. Like, subscribe, comments, please. Game. This is one of those headsets that it may not look like much, but there's an old saying about judging a book by its cover. But this isn't a book review. If you judge secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried about